This is the teleoperated Nerf turret, or TNT. This device is a prototype automatic weapon system that allows the operator to control a weapon, in this case a Nerf gun, through gesture control to separate the operator of the turret from the turret itself and the inherent danger of operating such a weapon. The device has a two-axis control to hit virtually any target within range of the weapon. An accelerometer is mounted on the head of the operator, converts head movement into electrical signals, where the microcontroller then uses these signals to control the device. Our project was to drive a remote control car with a steering wheel and pedals for forward and reverse, and we did that through post width modulation from the 9 and 12 force. And here's our demonstration. <laughs> Killbots, the most creative and fun recreation of a classic two-player fighting game ever. This is our project with the Rock'em Sock'em Robots. In the red corner we have Professor Lachda. In the blue corner we have Professor Rawashta. Each, each robot is powered by their own 12-volt solenoid, causing the robots to punch. Powered by our dragon board. Uh, on the LCD display, we have the score, and we also tell if each player is blocking. And the solenoids are powered by the outside 18 source, 18 volt source. In uh, Lash's corner, we're going to have Keith Barrett, and in Rawash's corner, we got Cornell. So they're going to play a quick game. Yeah. Whenever you guys are ready. Professor Rowashta. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put your head down in shame. <laughs> and we keep score on the uh, LCD display. The Formula SAE team dynamometer is used to test and calibrate engine systems built by students as part of an international open wheel race car design competition. The speed and accuracy of the engine calibration process is critical for the team's success which makes the Dino Commander a valuable tool for the team. It uses the Dragon 12 board to allow precise adjustments of both engine load and throttle control in the safe confines of the control room. The Dino Controller repla replaces a crude control that made engine calibration a, a lengthy and difficult procedure for a team with an extremely tight design, test, and build schedule. The Dino Commander is just one more asset 
in the team's arsenal to lead the team to Formula SA victory this summer at Michigan International Speedway. automatic security door opens and then closes the door when a correct code has been entered. An IR sensor in the door frame detects objects in the way and will stop the motor from turning. A correct code can be entered on the hex keypad to open the door. A personalized greeting is displayed on the LCD when the door opens. An RFID card can be used instead of a manually entered code. There's also a personalized display for the RFID and the door opens and closes as normal. Hi, I'm Eric and I'm a engineering biology major. I'm Mike, I'm a mechanical engineering major. I'm Tony Matter, and I'm a mechanical engineering major. And I'm Vivek Savuk, and I'm a mechanical engineering major as well. And this here is Here Boy, our 2010 winter EGR 280 final project. Alright, so what Here Boy does is it listens for a frequency and follows it. So it starts rotating. Here it constantly rotates until it picks up on the signal. So now it'll see the signal and follow it. And then actually it will stop when it gets too close to me until I turn off the noise and it continues to spin. My name is Abel Moore, my partner name is Michael Norman, and we created apparatus to measure the static coefficient of friction. And the purpose of this project is to do just that. And it's running and it will actually display the position of the servo motor at that current time, just for reference. You can see the angle is getting pretty good. It should, it should start sliding any moment. And once it has slid and hit it, there you go. It did, it'll stop. As you can see, it's calculating. We have our theta value, which is 14.4 degrees, and our coefficient of static friction, which is 0.256. This is the Dragon Dome. The Dragon Dome is a double-sided pinball machine that allows two users to compete against each other. By using a simple spring-loaded mechanism, you are able to fling a pinball across the board at your opponent's net. Also using motors, controlled by the H-bridge on the Dragon Board, is able to create an obstacle for you. Now, if your ball goes into your opponent's hole, a motion sensor down at the bottom records the goal and adds and tells you when you win. Now, if power is supplied to the motors, we're going to speed it up at high velocity, and when hit, send the ball across the board. This is how the Dragon Board works. Have fun and be safe. It's open.
Now he just gets up. He knows he's not getting it. So AGR 280 final project, uh, 2010. We built a gantry crane candy dispenser. We can see it moves back and forth, using uh, our batteries kind of going a little low, um, using the joystick. And then when you press it, it dispenses the candy and moves back to a zero position. All right, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Oh, Okay, that's done. <laughs> 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 <laughs>